Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andrew Gucci, and this video is sponsored to you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. Uh, I have Monored as well, Martin Juza's Monored. Maybe I would play Frenzy over Chandra. But um, I think I, th I think those decks are super playable. I think the standard format, it's... Un un like, as long as you respect Nexus, every deck has a chance. Have you tried Monored Dragons? No, I did not. Okay, my hand is uh, solid. I'm gonna just uh, ship the turn back with this opt. Yeah, the blue black seems sick. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I I just um, just built it yesterday night when I was like excited to ooh, check this up. Just drawing two cards, basically drawing two cards. All right, uh, I need some lands. How many lands am I playing? A six. I'm playing twenty four. Twenty four is not that many if you, if you ask me, but. All right, so my opponent has um, a counter magic, which is like always like good, but they also have the fairy here of Dominaria, and uh, I think I'm just gonna take it because my hand is not very good against the fairy right now, and uh, I think just overall my deck is not very good against the fairy. So let's just let's just take the strongest card instead of. Uh... All right, here I'm going to go for opt. I just I just I just want to hit land drops. Let's see if they counter it. If they counter it, I mean, I could also just bait them. All right, I'm actually very happy that I that I went for opt instead of just Augur of Bolas, because they would have probably just absorbed it. And uh, so, like, the thing is that when you discard absorb, when you discard the fairy, so some people think, all right, it's turn two, the fairy it's fine, it's gonna be late, so I don't want to 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 discard the fairy. But you, it really depends on the deck you're playing, because if you're playing an aggro deck then sure, you can think of that. But if you're playing a slow deck, the very will eventually happen. It's not that they have to get lucky to draw two lands, you know? Hello, VTCLA! Yeah, I took, I took actually, you know, I took a close look at your list, but no, I definitely don't like Terramander. It's a card that I've been disliking a lot, even in Legacy, and uh, I feel that the modern the standard is just very, very bad. Like, like, sure, I played it in, like, Is the Drakes, where my plan is just to attack at some point, and I also have more spells. I have like, you know, Terraman. Oh, sorry, I have Spell, Pierce, Dive Down and such. This deck is just a mid-range control deck. Like, what's my graveyard gonna look like? You are, you can say, sure, you have four spells already. Yeah, I do. But I also surveil two spells in the graveyard. Actually, just one. All right, so they went for Dressed Contempt on my guy, which is very reasonable. Hello, Data Pusher. Finally, I can catch you, Mangu. Yes, why? What 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 did he change from uh, from the last stream? Are you gonna play the SCG tomorrow? Who, me? I'm an Italian, an Italian person. Italy is very far from Star City game. And uh, and even if I did, it'd be pretty pretty hard for me to, to, to... There's a lot of events coming from me, so I don't think, I don't think I, I would. But, but, I mean, it's still a... All right, it's pretty bad, right? I can't cast literally any spell from my hand. I think I'm gonna just lose. What did you play in London? I played the humans to an eight and two finish. You can check the decks on MTG Goldfish, MCT, MCT, and MC2 London. There should be my name around here. Yeah, Mengucci Andrea. Here it is. No, just a misclick. Uh, here, humans. This was my list. A very basic list. An article on Chandler Fireball will coming up. I believe it was the best uh, list possible for the deck. And uh, it wasn't probably... I'm just gonna consider this game. Sure, I have a commence the end game. I can draw two cards. But I think that, that game one is just basically unwinnable. Literally unwinnable. Especially for the way I built it. Are you satisfied by your experience in Modern? I'm satisfied that it ended. I'm definitely satisfied uh, about that. Alright, I want Unmoored Ego. Because I want to name, uh, you know, either the fairy or stuff like that. All right, if you guys want to see the deck, first thing first, you can just check out because it's right here. But you can also just ask, uh, click exclamation mark deck or deck list, and you'll get a link to my Twitter account. All right, I'm sideboarding uh, these very obvious things. This is just basic magic, just classic discard and counter magic, and just. You know, awful game one, and then hopefully it gets better post sideboard. All right, 
So this is 61 cards. I could board out Rastus Contempt, but that's a way to deal with a Thief of Sanity. I do have my own Thief of Sanity to block it, even though it's pretty bad, right? This is a classy expert control just being the nuts. So I'm gonna get rid of these things. Oh, wait, what's the trophy? Sorry, I forgot about the trophy. I forgot about the trophy. Oh my god, I was almost starting a stream without a trophy on my back. Oh, I also need to zoom my webcam. Wow, so many things that I didn't do it. Okay, uh, let me finish sideboarding and then I'll do all the things. Uh, oh my god, I cut one card. What do I cut? What do I cut? What do I cut? I'll cut... I'll cut a... Ah, I don't know what to cut. I'll cut a... Ch ah, Charter Course. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but yeah. All right, let me zoom on the webcam. No, no. When, when I cut Augur of Bolas? That's that's the that's the card. That's the card. I'm not gonna cut all over bolus. Alright. I'll zoom on my webcam. Hello. Done. And here we go. Opt. Yeah, maybe opt would have been better actually. Oh, check out this hand. It's just great. We have two lands and we have five spells and they're all are like pretty good. We also have the singleton chart of course right here. I hate Ego. Yeah, I hate Ego. I definitely hate Ego, but... Yeah, probably should have two Ego. That, that, that's true, Snake, please. You're, you're right. Okay, if we win this, game three, we're gonna have that. Ah, uh, alright. I pass the turn. Come on, Arena. I hope this is an instant. I don't wanna cast in my turn. Alright, opt. I, I want lands. Thief of Sanity. It's pretty. It saddens me to bo to put in the graveyard, but I just want to hit land drops. All right, that's a swamp. As basic as it could possibly get. All right, Augur of Bolas. Please get me a spell. Don't break. Ooh, the the choices. All right, guys. I'm gonna get. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get whatever. I I just I just, I just want to cast Charter Course next turn. So I'm gonna go the rest Charter Course, and I really hope my opponent doesn't have Thief of Sanity. Hey Andrea, sun in Senegalia. Uh, not really, not really. Just cloudy. But I mean, it could be any any amount of uh, of of uh, weather because I'm not going out, so it doesn't matter. Not going out. There's a lot of magic to be played for me. Ooh, I'm more eager. Check that out. Um, there's just so much magic to be played for me. That I have so many events and so much work. Today I want to record a couple of videos for Channel Fireball as well as practicing a lot for the weekly matches. Next week I also have uh, the Twitch Rivals, which is like 25k, which is like unreasonable, a lot of money. And I also um, and I also uh, did the... Uh, oh, look at this! They cast down, but they did so after comb, after me attacking, so I'm gonna draw two cards with the chart, of course. Alright, I think now I can just let them have uh, the Liliana's Death or General. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna keep it. I have 8 Discard Spell. I have 8 Discard Spell. I'm gonna eventually just draw Discard Spell for the Liliana. Hello Andrea, at work so I won't be able to stay. Just wanted to say hey. Hello, oh my god. When did you start streaming on Twitch? I started the 1st of January as... Uh, I was contracted by Wizards of the Coast. As you can see, stream is sponsored, which means that that. Okay, uh, all right. Now I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm. I think I'm not gonna thief of sanity, even though it's very juicy to go thief, and then you know just just start rolling. Cause like, yeah, maybe maybe I should just go thief. Cause like the thing is that God Eternal Kefnet might just not do anything if you if you break. It's just a four fly flyer. You've missed three months of stream. You did. I always stream at the same time. It's this one. So if you're like, I don't know, American, it might be a little bit harder to follow me. But I'm, I'm finding some success streaming at this hour. That there's not that many competition. So, so I get, I get a good amount of viewers. When I was streaming in the afternoon, I was getting way less, uh, way less viewers. All right. So we got a bunch of lands. The classic flood that right now after bottoming two spells. Alright, so Thief of Sanity, please a hit and give me a Teferi Hero of Dominaria, because our colors are not allowing us to play it. But I would really like to play Teferi Hero of Dominaria, okay? Thanks. I like this time, Americans can go to bed on time, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I make I make everyone happy, I guess. I mean, the Midwest in USA, so definitely that's easy for me. Yeah, all right, we got three spells, so can't really can't really get worse, much worse than this, right? All right, fortunately, give them a, a, a chemistry's inside, but honestly, honestly, who cares? Just stick your inside. All right, and uh, I think I'm gonna just uh. So it's between a Kefnet and Lan and, and a Thief. I think I'm gonna go with Kefnet. So on turn six, I can double spell. It's an American, you appreciate the late night entertainment. Yeah, there's not that many people streaming, right? In these time. That's pretty good. Streaming is like uh, when you open like a market in the in the main street. Like you wish there's like no one else. Uh, you know what I mean? Like selling things. So you're like the, the alone, alone there. You're liking Japanese war packs. I actually didn't see anything about it. I, I I've purchased my three foil NAR set for Legacy and Vintage. With the pre-release promo stamp in Italian. I, I really like the pre-release promo stamp in Italian. Alright, the discard may commence the endgame most likely. How come you're holding back Amordigo? Uh, I mean, Amordigo is not like Wincom. We're playing against Esper, it's not against Nexus. So I just want to pressure them first, gain all the card advantage that I can. Reveal... I honestly... I've played this card three times. This is the third time. And I've never revealed a single spell. And my opponents... I mean, this is not a joke. But reveal spell every turn. Like... Like, one time I was playing Aggro deck, they played this on turn 4, and on turn 5 they revealed the freaking Enter the God Eternals. And I was like, what the... you know? Alright, we hit again with Thief. We can't really lose if we hit two times with Thief, right? That's just the rule. The rule of Magic the Gathering. What percentage of your deck hits? I don't know, a lot. Like, I'm playing a deck with... Uh, I'm playing a deck with... Um, I'm playing a deck with... Um, Agro of Bola, so I can't play little... I can't play, you know, not that many spells. Alright, I'm gonna get Dovin's Veto, because this is a non-creature, and it's probably what they're gonna play, so I'm gonna go for Thief of Sanity and play my top land. Do you wanna use some kind of deck plugin? I I, I use uh, I use Deck Master. I use Deck Master, that's, that's enough, I don't wanna use anything else. Cause uh, you, the more things you have on the on the screen, I just I just dislike seeing all this all this stream with like twenty thousand things on them. You just over on something and you just immediately stomp on something. I want to see my deck list. You just you just go exclamation mark deck. You'll see on Twitter. I can't really see myself losing this game. Opponent kept a pretty slow end, and we just uh, ate their face. When do we learn what you use to get thirty packs? Hopefully as soon as the weekly MPL match is finished. Honestly though, it's nothing really special, so it's it's fine. I, I give more content this way. It's very uncomfortable to look at your current lag on Twitter. Yeah, whatever. It, it's much better for me because uh, I just have to link that. And if I make any changes, I'll update at the end. Instead of just updating 30,000 things. Since I have to update on Twitter no matter what. Alright, um, so... I think I don't want to cut Charter Course, I'm cutting Opt. I'm also cutting one Amur Ego. I think I want to board in Tyrant Scorn. Actually, maybe just be cast down, because they might have... No, actually Tyrant Scorn is... Huh. So Tyrant Scorn gets rid of uh, Thief of Sanity, but also gets rid of... Uh, host Sorry, cast down, also Hostage Taker. I think I'm gonna go for... I think I'm gonna go for uh, Tyrant Scorn. It might be more versatile, I'm gonna cut a couple of Opts. I'm gonna do something like this. It's even worth to play the metagame challenge. I mean, it's worth to play if you're great. No, I mean, I think it's very much worth it. Like, if you go 3-0, and 2-0, oh, oh, you, you go even already. 2-0. And, oh. and if you go 7-0, oh, you win 30 packs. Like, come on. 30 packs is like, I don't know, how, infinite money on, on Arena. Like, if, you, if you're willing to open, like, for example, me, okay? A professional magic player who needs uh, cards, you know? I have to open packs no matter what. And I don't want to play limited. Because uh, Wizard said, uh, you know what, limited player, the Mythic Championship will be held on a pre-release date, so you don't have to play World of Sparks literally anymore. No, if you go two, I think you're exactly even, because you get 150, 100, 500, sorry, 1500 gold and uh, like one pack, so it should be like roughly even. You actually go slightly ahead. Hello, Alfred. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's the best way to use 2,000 gold. Like, whenever I have 2,000 gold, I just open packs. Alright, I wish my opt was a duress, but... So it's life. 
I wish my Mord Ego was literally anything else, but so it's life. Your 5 right now, super intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Ooh, there it is, Duress. I think I'm gonna go Duress first, because they might have, like, a bad hand with Search for Ascanta. Ooh. Uh, wow, they have a Thief of Sanity. Oh my god, we need to, we need to draw some answer. Some answer next turn or we die. Thief of Sanity is facially untouchable, as was proven by Standard in those days. You can't download the image? Yeah, maybe. All right, you're in the gate, which uh, it's bad. It's definitely bad. If she was a counter spell. All right, let's go for, uh, I guess I'll pass the turn and go opt. I, I did open the packs. They were actually pretty bad. I got like one mythic, one, one mythic. All right, I put in place a turn one combo kill. Turn one, turn three combo kill, all right, opt. Todd Erasure, oh, so close. Bottom. Let's draw a removal spell, please. Augur of Bolas, that's not good. All right, and we miss. Okay, so now we have to do the cl classic and good old Thief of Sanity, I hope they don't have any removal spell to block it. Don't block it, don't block it, don't block. Sorry, I mean, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Are there even, yeah, there's uh, two Tyrant's Corn. <laughs> two, exactly two. All right, don't kill it. Just don't kill it. Yes, they didn't kill it. Ah, oh, they did not kill it. Look at my deck. Look at my deck. Just, just basic lands over here. All right, Augur of Bolas. All right, they have Absorb. I think I might even fight it with the... Ah, yeah, I'm fighting with the gate. I'm fighting with the gate. Like, they don't have any answer. I actually, I could have the fairy. Yeah, okay, that's, that's great. Ooh. Ooh, look at this perfect sideboard card. All right, um, uh... I think I'm attacking. No, I'm not. I'm not because I have Tyrant Scorn for their Thief of Sanity. So I'm not attacking. If they attack, I'm actually gonna block. I don't know. Hello, Matt. Good morning. Uh, Alright, the Duress me. Hmm. Mine is pretty good. So I think I'm just going to cast Tyrant Scorn on this, so they absorb it. Alternatively, I can let them resolve the Duress, or, uh, wait, I can negate this Duress. Yeah, I think I'm gonna negate this Duress. Yeah, and if they have a removal spell for my Thief, it's fine. If they don't, if they just go absorb, they'll discard my, my Tyrant Scorn, and it's fine, I think. So let's see, if they have a removal spell for my Thief, uh, which I think it's quite, if what's happening, because they didn't want to, to, to counter my Duress. Tyrant Scorn, new prime removal spell. I'm not sure. Like, it's a little, it's a little clunky. Oh, they passed. All right. I'm gonna have the classic Amor Digo name absorb here. I think our Fage the Untouchable will actually touch them, and we will win the game. I think that's what's happening. So Amor Digo naming absorb, which is pretty funny, but yeah i mean tyrant scorn is worse than cast down sure but sometimes you can bounce some legendary like gods or something you can also just bounce your own things I, but when you don't kill hostage taker it's like kill me now because because cast down would have done it and this one can't and we play a split two and two all right all right put a letter resolve we name absorb just have two lands please they do have two lands that's great Oh, I didn't see the deck. Uh, all right, too bad. Come on, see the deck now, fast now. All right, they draw a card. So let's go. Tyrant Scorn, uh, destroy, and please, please, just don't, don't draw anything here. Don't draw Dobbins Veto. Don't draw it. Moment of craving they drew. Ah, oh, all right. Now we are in uh, top deck mode, both of us. It's exactly same board, with except that we drew an extra card with thanks to Agar of Bolas, best card in standard. All right, don't draw, don't draw the fairy. Don't draw the fairy, never. Just, just play your top lands here, because I use my Amordigo to name your, your absorb. <laughs> Amordigo is such a bad card. I drew another one. No, why? So unlucky. Oh, so unlucky. Amordigo is such a bad card. All right, let's let's ego my opponent here. Wait, that's weird. Did my opponent not play? Wait one second. I'll put it in didn't play. Alright, whatever. I have to name the fairy. I can't name anything else. 
I, w I wish I'd seen the, my opponent's deck, but I didn't. All right, I got to land there. Wow, only two Teferi? Really? How do you play only two Teferis? Wait, how do they win? They have one Liliana. They only win with one Liliana? That's insane. At one team of Sadie only? And they drew it? Wow. Okay. Alright. I'm already going like the worst card possible and I'm playing in my deck. It's pretty bad. No two teeth in the deck? I missed them? I saw only one. Alright, whatever. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Like, their deck is just one Liliana right now. I guess they search for Atkanta too. I wish I wish I could see how many car cards in my opponent's graveyard, but the Teeth of Sanity flying just hovers on them. Alright, at least I, I at least we have lands. Who says the fairy is a win con? Which the fairy? No. This small the fairy is like just a bounce spell. Alright. I, I I don't know, I got the feeling that Esper always win in that in top deck modes. We played 24 lands, they played 26, so we should be a little bit ahead. We also already drew our two mulligans, the two Amorti Ego. So there shouldn't be any more disadvantage card in our deck. Yeah, one Thief and one Liliana, but it's not that. If they draw Search for us, can't. Oh, they did! Oh! They just, they just bury me in card advantage with this and they just lose. Like, it doesn't matter, like, the win cons at that point. Oh! Okay, it's fine. They have a landing hand, but at least I surveil. Yeah, it's like drawing a card. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna hold this land in my hand just in case my opponent kills Augur of Bolas and I draw um and I draw chart of course. Yeah, we almost exile the absorb. I yeah, I don't I don't I don't know. They have what two Dovins Vito? But again, I'm just gonna lose to, to a search. If I don't draw that like, commence the end game now, oh actually I should have hold lands in my hand for commence the end game. Nah, maybe I shouldn't. Cause like sure, you, you get a larger amass token, but you can't like double spell if you draw, like, you know. Let's say you go commence you say you don't play land now and you draw commence the end game next turn. You can't play like a a, a six drop and a four drop together. Because you have to make double land drop. Well, answer for Liliana. Uh, we have a couple of Vrasta's Contempt. But as I said, it's not... Oh, they didn't Graveyard? Alright, bad news. Oh, Chart, of course. Check out this 2-mana draw, too. Okay. So, Augur of Bolas, just the best. Just the best. It's like... It's like... Alright, two lands. Little, 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 little best. Wait, how... Why, why do I draw so many lands? 1-3... 6, 9, 12, 13. Why 13 lands in the top uh, 23 cards? What's wrong, deck? Why this ratio? Alright, alright. Search. Graveyard. What deck can I draw from 14 rares outside of lands that can make me to Mythic? Alright, another land. Monorite is the best deck. If you wanna... If you don't have many rares. All right, we need some 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 cool things to happen, but it didn't happen. On the other hand, though, we just flooded, and uh, the most boring game ever is probably gonna come to an end here. Yeah, Mono Blue is cheap, but it's not very good. And I'm quite actually, I'm I'm happy that Mono Blue is not very good anymore. I was pretty much a hater of Mono Blue for the whole time it existed. Yeah, sorry if you love Mono Blue, but um. Mo Mo Mono Blue is like, for me, another land? Is that true? Mono Blue is like the Tron of Standard for me. Because it's basically like you play, but there's nothing you can do. Like you play your game, you draw your cards, you play your spell, but then you lose. No, no, I mean, it's, it's for me, it's for me, like... I know that people love it. I'm just gonna concede this game. There's no way Mike can get back into this game. They have searched for Ascanta, and I have a uh, lots of lands left. I was trying to course working out. It depends. If he draws two spells, it's pretty good. But if he draws two lands, it's pretty bad. All right, all right. First game of the day. 
got destroyed by Mr. Esper. If they didn't draw Moment of Craving there, we would have won for sure the game, like immediately. After after that, Amor Digo. But they drew Moment of Craving, which was a wisely kept in the deck with just one target. They said, hmm, this guy, this guy's playing a lot of 2-2s. Two Let's board in Moment of Craving. Turns out they had to play only one 2-2 two -two and they killed it with it. I thought you would like mono blue. Uh, sure it is, but um, no, no, it's 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 not really because like because like the deck relies like infinite on a curse obsession. Okay, if it doesn't draw curse obsession, it's much worse. But if they draw it, it's very good. So like you have this like kind of. But I mean, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just saying that I'm happy that now with like blast zone and uh, and like Esper being like. Lots of lots of cheap removal spell and good removal spell, you know. I'm just happy. It's going like this. The craving was not even in the. No, the craving was the issue because I think even if we draw like twenty thousand lands, we have thief going. If wait, our opponent's playing Augur of Bolas. Wait, what's this? We are the one to play Augur of Bolas. Oh, it's another control deck. Oh, come on. I just want to play some some cool games. I just want to play. Yeah, whatever. Bye bye, Thief. They'll counter it. I guess I have two, two of these, but my deck is so bad in the main deck against Asper, it's basically, it's basically like unwinnable. I have like 45 mulligans in my deck. And we tried Chemistries instead of, instead of Chara Cores. Yeah, Standard is very, it's very for cool games. I don't know why you said that. It's not even, it's not even a joke. Like, Standard is like exactly the, the place to play cool games of Magic. Alright, they don't have land, so there's that. I think I'm gonna jam my, my, hmm. You know, Jim, my god. I think I think I feel lucky. I think I feel that the top of my deck is a spell right now. Nice curve of the Carnarium. Yeah, nice. Especially with two twos in my deck. Hello, hello. When you win versus Mono Blue, seems like it worse. No, I mean, there's a period of my life where I played Black Green for like a very long time. For uh, like uh, in Kills of Ravnica standard, I played Black Green for like three months or four months. And like Mono Blue was easily the worst matchup. And I. I lost to Mono Blue every single time, even at the PT against Reed Duke. Where I played Sultai with like 20,000 Arpooner and I thought the matchup was great. And I lost 2-0. So it was this period in my life where I was always losing to that. No, it was not a spell! Come on, has this god ever flipped a spell? Alright, it's, it's okay. I'm looking good here. I'm looking good. They did basically nothing for two turns in a row. Augur of Bolas, it's just 20,000 cards because... Augur Ball is great, and I'm taking the Vrasis Contempt here, just because they could play Teferi in our deck. The Thief, the God of Turtle Kefnet will, I mean, whatever, I'm playing this just because I don't want to collect so many things. So I'm going immediately to attack, and I'm going to attempt killing the Teferi, since I do have instants in my deck. You can't cast the spell anyway? Oh no, really? You know that I was, uh, I was, yeah. All right, Lava Coil, sure. Look at this god just being very large and doesn't die to Lava Coil. And land. Okay, okay, it's still fine. Opponent is mana screwed, so we will win thanks to our two commands the end game that we very wisely drew in our opening end against the control deck. When you mono uh, Chandra, anti -bolt. Yes. Yes, we won a game! Take that, just get control. <laughs> Alright, so I want Spyglass, because they play Teferi and we do not. I want like one more Digo. I've been pretty down on it last game. It was actually very bad. I think, I think, uh, maybe I'll just, yeah, whatever. J just want to draw the. Uh, I don't know, let's see if the rest. Uh, so, definitely these. I'm gonna cut uh, Cast Downs. I think my opponent is not playing uh, uh, the Thief of Sanity, so I'll just be boarding out all the removals. Like, there's not any many creatures. I guess I guess they could have Legion War Boss. Legion War Boss is still a beating. Yeah, I just hate Amorego. I mean, I hope like I said how much I hate Amorego, and I hope you guys realized it last 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 game. Amorego is a pretty bad card. Wait, wait, what did I click? Okay, no. Andrea, where can I find your Gruel deck? It's not mine. It's it's just a Gruel deck. <laughs> The secret that vulnerable doesn't matter what cards enemy if you counter it, yeah. Why is even in the deck? Oh, even is in the deck for Nexus of Fate, yeah. 
Yeah, I think against control deck you shouldn't uh, just go card disadvantage. You should try your best to do card advantage. What do you think of Aids at Phoenix? So what do you think of Aids at Phoenix is that I've um, I've always been very down on Aids at Phoenix because of cards like Re uh, Relic uh, was Revolutionary Idea. That card is just not a playable magic card. It's two mana to draw a card and then two mana to discard one. Whenever I saw that card play, I was like, wow, this is like the worst possible play card to play in standard. And uh, now with Final of Promise, ooh, that's, uh, that's a card. I think I'm gonna take it. My opponent shouldn't play this card spell, so a commence the end game, it's like very good against them. All right, let's play the best card in our deck, Augur of Bolas. And miss. Maybe not best card anymore. What are your thoughts on Nicol Bolas? Uh, there was a I, I streamed the deck. I streamed with Nicol Bolas the Dragon God, and I was very much, I was very much, uh, you know, I did I didn't like the deck. Uh, Nicol Bolas the Dragon God is a good card, but overall the deck felt very bad to me. Like uh, Nicol Bolas the Ravager is just not a standard playable card, and uh, the fact that you don't have any answer to enchantment just makes it much much weaker than Esper, in my opinion. New Sahili seems nice. I honestly, if, if if you check on Twitter the other leaks that I'm gonna play today, the Isa Drakes, um, I don't like Sahili. I don't like Sahili. It's a card that uh, you just played it and doesn't 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 do that much. All right, put in shock themselves. I'm gonna play Augur of Bolas in the hope to find uh, to find a spell this time. Yeah, you can also enchant with Ugin, but if they untap their land, you still lose. Like like it's just a one com one card combo. It's like saying. All right, all right. I guess I have to play around syncopate now. Um, so I could go spyglass now just to curve out. Yeah, I'm gonna go spyglass. Tovin's veto seems for sabotage. All right. Bye bye, the fairy. I like spyglass much, much more than a Mordigo. Because spyglass, you can just name things that are in play already, so it's like at least a one for one. Whereas the Amorti go, if things are already in play, there's nothing you can do about it, you just... Alright, so I'm gonna go up the main phase, because I want to find the Discard spell. Ooh, Thief of Sanity. I, th I think I'm gonna keep it. Sure, it's not a land for my... For my Commence the End game, but I will eventually draw land, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, the thing with Sahili is that you pay 3 mana to play a permanent, okay? That Against some decks, you can't even play because they can attack it. And then once you untap, sure, you make like what two servers, three servers, you know? It hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't been particularly good for me. I'm, I'm just playing, as you see, like one in the cyber, but just to try her. I did play like two or three. Did you try Narset in Legacy? I did. I did. It was great. All right, opt. I'm looking for um, Todd Erasure. Uh, nah. Honestly, I don't care about Thought Erasure here. I'm just, I'm just gonna basically use Thought Erasure. I'm just gonna basically use Kefnet God Eternal as a Thought Erasure. Mm-hmm. All right, this is the reason why you attack first, so that they don't uh, commence the end. Like, like if I'd played this main phase, I couldn't have attacked. How do you get first in Moto League? Was that? Did you see Conley Narset Modern Prison deck? I didn't. Wait, did you, did that just happen? Did we reveal a thought of, a spell to the to the God Eternal Kefnet? All right, after forty three minutes of playing, we finally got there. We finally got there. So wow! Oh my God! It's basically like Fish the Untouchable, but you it's like basically Thief of Sanity, but you don't have to attack them to win. You just have to reveal a spell to win the game. All right, this was a very smooth win because our deck, it's perfectly built in a way such that we reveal the spell thanks to our god instead of just lands or creatures. What is the icon near to the wildcard icon? So if you play the pre-release, you get a code that gives you an access to a draft, to a free draft. But since I'm not interested in drafting, I just redeem the code and the draft is still there for, uh, I guess, whenever I feel like drafting. But right now, I'm definitely not. I have a lot of priorities right now, but drafting is like probably just under the, the floor. Speaking of floor, I should... <sighs> okay. 
Yeah, we defeated Jessica Garbage Control. Speaking of garbage, yesterday I played with the new Neoform uh, Grizzle Brand deck. That was the weakest deck I ever played in my life. Okay, uh, our opponent is playing uh, the deck that we all fear and are scared of. And I want to just curve out Thunder Azure into Thief of Sanity, so I need a uh, land. Wait, they kept. Wait, what's happening? They didn't play Surge? Alright, I guess I'll take it. Alright, land on top. There it is. And there it is. They have Blink of an Eye, two Blink of an Eye, but who cares? They say, oops. I say. I do like Kaya. I do like Kaya in a Rasper Aggro. I don't know. It's not my problem, my friend. Alright, since they have a Blink of an Eye, I don't want to just get them a Blink my, my Thief. I'm just gonna go Augur of Bolas looking for like a Duress or the other thing. What are the most difficult matchups for this deck? I have no clue, Aristotle. No, Aristotle. I have no clue, I just built this deck. I just built this deck yesterday night because I wanted to play Augur of Bolas. <laughs> I just put together a bunch of cards in the, that share the same colors, which in this case are blue and black. And uh, I hope that it all works. In the meanwhile, our opponent, without the search for us, can't has breaking all their land drops. That might have been like the most brutal mistakes of all time. Just forgetting to play search. For, oh, this card is... Nah, I think I don't care about their hand. If they don't draw a spell, they'll just go to this card next turn. I also just want to draw land here. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep on Augur of Bolasing. Like, if my opponent doesn't draw land, they have to blink of an M Augur of Bolas, or just go to this card. What's happening? <laughs> All right, uh, sure, Augur of Bolas comes in. I want to have another Opt or Duress. Actually, Duress, yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I guess three spells. That works. We have very few, we have very few Nani hits. Like, if you look at my hand, it's just all, almost all hits. Alright, go grow Spiral. Come on, let's break on land, so you have to go to this card. It's always good. No, I don't want to play Thief of Sanity, because they have two Blink of an Eye in their hand. So I don't want, and you see, now, now it's a good moment to play Thief. <laughs> because now my opponent has to tap out in their turn. But they were untapped, so I didn't want to make them use mana um, the way they wanted to. Whenever you make a plane magic, you have to think about what's gonna trigger that. So, you don't only have to make your play, you have to think about what is going to happen if you make your play. Is that your opponent will efficiently cast their blink of an eye, and you don't want that to happen. You want, make, you, you want to make them inefficient with their cards. Okay, so this is a legendary, so we can't go cast down. We have a bunch of options, but I think the best one is... Uh, just Tyrant's Corn to bounce it so that we can hit and, and and just steal a card with Thief of Sanity and then play something with that. So I'm gonna go return and then I'm attacking with the Thief. Because uh, the God Eternals come back uh, even if you exile them. Also, I'm super happy for my opponent to just recast God next turn because they have an answer. It's like uh, in modern when your opponent casts a spell and you have remanded mana leak and you prefer to cast remand in some cases because uh, you just want them to recast the same spell. You can steal with contempt if you cast it though. That's true. But as I or first thing first, I already have my Kefnet. That that's a very good, cool play that I didn't think of. But uh, I have Kefnet in my hand. Also, as I said, I don't really care if they recast their. Uh, their their thing. Like I'm I was actually happy if they ever cast that. Alright, I think I want Spyglass. Spyglass is very good against them. Block both blocks Tamio and uh, the search for us can't them. Alright, so uh cards I wanna cut. Thought Erasure, cast down, craft the Carnarium. This is 64, and four God Eternals. I think the sideboard is just perfectly made. It kind of feels like uh, I've made it with uh Thinking a lot. Instead, I just throw down a bunch of cards. But I think that work. I think I don't want any removal spell for creatures. I just have Rise's Contempt for uh, the the um, for the thing. For the yeah, as you see, Thief of Sanity is Fetch the Untouchable. Um, very rarely I've seen people keep on playing when the, when they got hit by Thief of Sanity. Is it a good idea to play Blazo in this deck? 
I saw the mana requirement and they're not very friendly. But I think I should actually, yeah, I'll probably just cut. I don't know, because like we have uh, double black and double blue very close in our curve. So you need like a lot of mana. Maybe I could cut one island. Something like that, yeah. All right, once again, we're just desperately looking for lands here. There it is, one. Okay, uh, they can't go for the dreadful curve of... Uh, um, what's called? Uh, uh, Gort Spiral into Reclamation into you lose. So I don't have to stay up for doing anything. So I'm just gonna cast my Ogre of Bolas, hoping to hit like a Charta course or something like that. Tarnscorn is a useful against most decks. Yeah, so like, Tarnscorn, okay, they draw Forest, which is like, pretty good, I guess. All right, draw Thief of Sanity, but I think now I have to respect their deck a little bit more. Cause like, my deck cannot cannot deal with a, my deck cannot deal with a one ass Reclamation in play. You just lose if you have a Reclamation. So I need to counter it. I think I'm gonna go Negate here. Actually, I actually want to see their end to just make my play. Also, I, I don't let them surveil, which is cool. All right, easily gonna take one last reclamation. They have two root snare. This is definitely a board out. Definitely, definitely a board out against my deck. All right, so they got chemistry inside. They got a uh, crushing canopy. So this is the reason to not play Thief of Sanity just naked there. Now, though, I could play. Let's see. I draw an opt. I think I'm actually gonna play opt first. Because I want to hit land drops. I have a 6 drop in my hand. And I'm not that... Like, even if I miss land drop, it's not the end of the word. Ego Reclamation. Nah. Alright, I want land. Sure, the card is good, but I want, to, I want to hit land drops. And now I'm playing my Thief of Sanity. The opponent has a, a Crushing Canopy to deal with it. Sure. But we will make sure so that they don't draw two cards, either now or in their turn. So that's fine. And we just progress our game. I just want to name Nexus of Fate with this card. You just win with Armored Ego. No, you don't. They can easily beat you with Ego. Like, I've won infinite games where uh, I got ego to my Nexus. Or Reclamation. We're playing a slow deck. We're not playing like an aggro deck. And also have next turn to do it. I, I just want to I just want to curve out. Just make so that you know they answer my cards. And then eventually just 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 finish them off with uh, commence the end game. So now I'm gonna go ego on uh, oh Nexus of Fate. They're on 15 already. Okay, so uh, I'm already gonna access of fate. Then uh, Nexus of Fate. Okay, so they have a God Eternal Kefnet in their hand. They don't have Nexus of Fate anymore, but don't click L4 because then you don't you don't get to see their deck. So they have Murmuring Mystics, Tamio. Do they have uh, Search for Scant? Okay, they do. They have Crawler Pooner as well. I wonder what they don't have, because they have literally everything, even two roots there. It's pretty unlucky for them to live in two roots there and just draw them. Ooh, this card's cool. This card's very cool. Alright, so let's exile the Nexus of Fates. And uh, um, I could Spyglass. Yeah, actually Spyglass is probably not good anymore because of this land. Huh, no, I'm gonna leave this spyglass in my hand. Let's get just one more permanent for uh, one more card in hand for this. I'll probably just die to to the Kefnet now, because <laughs> they will very happily play it, and uh, I don't have that many I that many answer to it. At least I don't have any more uh, Nexus to just kill me on the spot. All right, land, Thought Erasure. Ah, oh, it's pretty late. That's a pretty late Thought Erasure. Still gonna go for it because I'm looking for a land. Hopefully, the druid expelled it. I, I don't want to discard the root snare. All right, all right. And uh, the thing is that now I'm gonna keep this in my hand. As I as I said, the reason why I keep it in this my um, I'm just I'm just gonna lose to the Kefnet, unfortunately. Name blast zone. <laughs> All right, they 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 flip the eternal god. They didn't, yeah. They drill in, so now they can cast their chemistry inside. 
Luckily, the token is a zero drop, so it doesn't die to Blast Zone. Why do I not contempt the Kefnet? The Kefnet comes in third, and uh, it's not really, it's not really like my game right now. I just, my, my game right now is to just draw a couple of cards here, and then eventually just maybe want to punch them with like something like Versus Contempt Plus. All right, they want they really wanted to reveal this. Why didn't they flashback this chemistry inside? I guess they didn't want to discard the root snares. All right, go to six. How did I get to six life? Did I did I just shock myself every single turn? I probably did, right? All right, so we draw two cards and make a four four. So that's good, but it might just not be enough. All right, charter course. That's great. Another charter course. All right, I'm interested. So I'm attacking for five. They'll probably roots near me because I mean they have a roots near in their deck, in their hand. Might as well play it. All right, they they don't. So I'm playing this, and then I think I'm gonna cast Grass's Contempt on this guy. Yeah. So I could use my mana more efficiently, but I'm just uh, I just wanna. So this one says the first card you draw each turn. Oh yeah, that's why. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. Ah, uh, I have a close decision now. Because if the good chemistry is inside, they can cast whatever they draw. So I could respond by Rastus Contempt in this. But this would, go, this would go third, so they would draw it for their turn. So I think I'm better off in just doing an upkeep. Or even end step after they've, they've, uh, they've uh, chemistry is inside. Oh, they put a counter with the Blast Zone. Sure. And they pass. Oh, they're playing around my Vrasis Contempt. Oh, it's Reveal. All right. I understand now why they didn't uh, flashback this. That's very smart. Okay, it's my upkeep now. So if I Vrasis Contempt this, this goes third. Maybe I should just draw Step It. So if I draw Step It, I give them the option to do the thing with the Kefnet. But then they can't replay the Kefna this turn, which I think is very important for my game plan. So I'm gonna just let them draw. Hopefully they miss. If they hit, it's bad. Alright, did they reveal a spell? They did. It's a growth spiral. Alright, so I let them have the value here. I think I'm gonna leave them have the value. That's pretty bad. Um, so I'll let them have this. I think I can rescue them now, because there's no way they can get to their Kefnet. And they will eventually get to their Kefnet with the chemistries inside. So just uh, rescue them now, so there's no way they can counter my... They can counter my Rastus Contempt. Is this deck worth crafting? Probably not. I mean, it really depends on how much you're worth, you know, just money and magic and everything. I really enjoy playing those kinds of decks, so... It was worth crafting for me, but again... Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so uh, they resolve their, their roots, their, their whatever, their growth spiral. And they go to main phase. I don't... Yeah, there's no way they can cast a Kefnet this turn. This, this roots in there are, are doing something now. Alright, but now we have the option of... Actually, we don't even have the option of uh, going for a Murigo because they wisely just left in chemistry inside up the whole game. Also, why is all red right now, the board state? What do you consider the best deck right now? Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Esper, Nexus, Mono Red, and Sultai. Alright, go Crawler Pooner. That's pretty bad. Because now they can't draw their cards. So if I draw Mordigo now, I can't get rid of God, God Eternal Kefnet. Augur of Bolas. I'm gonna kick things off with Augur of Bolas here. They don't even have mana up for Root Snare. That's awful. So I have the option of going Agorabolus or Charter Course. What do I want to do? How do you feel about White Winnie? White Winnie is good as well, yes. Um, I think I'm going to go for Agorabolus. Just because it just, it's just one more card to find out more Ego, which is right now my plan. All right, plan uh, successful. So I'm gonna go for uh, a Mordigo now on uh, the God Eternal Kefnet. Hoping they don't have a negate, but if they do, it's okay. All right. 
and attack for four. Down to three. Blast zone is on two, sure. I mean, I don't really care about... I mean, there are bodies, sure, but if I'm putting it, it just destroys a land and pays four mana to kill my three Agro of Bolas against their Crowler Pooner, I'm, I'm totally fine with it. Did you check deck? Uh, yeah, I did. I did check the deck. All right, we're blocking. Okay. They have a blast zone, but I, as I said, I, I don't care. I, it's it's fine. All right. I'm gonna start with Charter Cores. I don't care about this land. Mm-hmm. Discard a card. Discard this. Then I'll play Thought Erasure on uh, Root Snare, which is pretty sad, but I think it's what I'm gonna do here. Just surveilling, it's important. And I'm still holding on Spyglass because there's a Blast Zone here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm play land. All right, and I'll pass the turn. So now we have to race a God Eternal Kefnet, which will be pretty hard, I, I say. But the thing is that even if I play Spyglass, they suck the land in response, I don't care. Like, I really don't care about these two Augur of Boluses. Actually, I should have done that, because now they put a counter on the Blast Zone and kill my Thief. But again, like, they have a 4-5 Flyer. It's not that my Thief does much. Alright, so they suck the Blast Zone. Killing my two one threes. I I kind of want to keep Spyglass for Tamiyo. I mean, they play four Tamiyo in their deck. I saw it earlier, and they have thirty six cards, so they have one out of nine odds to draw the Tamiyo. All right, they they break with Kefnet. It was just another Blast Zone. Fair enough. So I could now actually name Blast Zone. All right. If they attack me, they have a Roost near. All right, another land. That's unfortunate. So like, now I kind of want to play Spyglass on the Blast Zone. Now, can you name? Memorial to Genius. I think if I play Spyglass now, it's cool. Because if the land is resolved, I'll name Memorial to Genius. Yeah. I'll name Memorial to Genius. <laughs> this, this is basically like taking gaining a turn, because my opponent is not using this turn to do anything. Sure, I can put a counter on the Blast Zone, but I don't care. I basically just, just gained the turn with this card. Season's Reward is for the, at the end of the month, so it just started. Alright, so they put two counters on the Blast Zone, they wanted to deal me with my Thief of Sanity. It makes sense, but also on 3 life I have a 4-4. Four, four. Well, it's pretty cool that the Blast Zone comes with one counter, so they can't kill my Amass token. We could attack with the... We could attack. They have a 4-5. <laughs> okay, they keep my flyer. Now they can't attack back. And now they win the race. So if I break, I lose next turn. I should have maybe named the Blast Zone. Because I was losing this race. Alright, let's just draw Negate and win. Alright, Negate. Negate, please. Negate. One time. Land. Alright, I lose. I lose because I attack, they fog me and attack me back. This was a cool game. It was a lot of close plays. A lot of close plays. Also a lot of lands, but that's just uh That's just uh that is that is what it is. So I died to a, a god eternal calf net. Could you see a deck list? You can, my friend. Um You can by clicking exclamation mark deck. Just like every time I stream. Mmm. Mm -mm, yeah, I think this is perfect. I don't care about God Eternal Kefnet because like it just comes back, so there's there's not that many answer to it. There's just the plummet that puts it to the bottom of the deck, but I'm not playing green. You could have attacked the turn before. They had the four five. Did, did you? They had the four five. Did you see that? I guess. All right. All right. This sounds good. This end is good indeed. Yeah, but I put myself in order to win the game very soon. Like, had I drawn, had I drawn a, had I drawn a uh, counter, or even like an interaction for their Kefnet, I would have just won the game. 
It's much different than putting myself in a position to maybe draw something good from their top of the deck, but then uh, miss. Okay, so here I think I think I don't care about these counters. I'm just gonna go for uh, the Tamio. It would have wasted a rune snare. No, it would have it would have it would have blocked it would have blocked the four four and let me and let me hit with the. I mean, actually, I could have done whatever because you know you don't play knowing what your opponent does. But um, I put myself in the very good position to win the game very shortly. All right, this card needs to sabotage here. It's very close to. Oh, maybe maybe I'll top this opt. This opt is actually better than uh, this opt is actually better than a land. This opt is better than a land because now I got duress, so I make sure that the opt resolve, and then I cast opt and. Uh, this just get, digs deeper. I'm not used doing anything with my turn, so might as well do that. Another classic flurry of discard spell, and then just leaves herself with a six drop in her hand. That's very hard to cast. Okay, so they have Nexus of Fate and a, a spell. All right, so now up needs to find the land, and we do it. But we need another one. I mean, it's not that we are lucky. Just 24 lands in the deck. It's it's it actually we we're not in a hurry to to hit land drops. Our opponent is, you know. Okay, so Thought Erasure. Looking for a land here. Uh, I, I guess I can also take a... Ooh, Narsa Drew your soul. <laughs> sure. Good morning, Joes. Good morning, good morning. Alright, these are my god Eternal Kefnet. I would have done the same. Pretty cool to get hit by Narset Reversal. I like it. It's a good card. Is there any any mods here? Jaws, do you want to be my mod? So that you say... Actually, can I be a mod? Can you be a mod? Are you a mod? I don't know how to make mods. Is it like this? We have added Jaws. Yeah, do you want to be a mod, Jaws? I mean, even if you don't, you are right now. So you have the power to just say exclamation mark deck to whoever's asking. Because a lot of people is and... Uh, yeah. All right, they get a fog and uh, we get a land. Oh, I think I don't want lands. I mean, eventually I'll draw land for this commence the end game. Premise will full minute. Ooh, nice. Test it on me. <laughs> All right, chemistry's insight. They draw two cards. That's a good draw in those cases. I wonder why I'm not playing that card. I'm probably I don't know. Um I just I just oh there it is. I was wondering if my deck was doing card advantage, and yes it does. Alright, Jogger of Boss, just find a good spell, please. Just find a good spell. No? Brick? Really? I said card advantage. I didn't say two mana one three. Ooh. <sighs> I think Asper Agro and Asper Control are very good decks for the Meth Game challenges. <laughs> Okay, they add colorless. They draw two cards. They discard their fog. That's a very way to put fog is a very good way. A very good way to use your fog. Post Cyberberg against blue black. I don't know, I just have the feeling that we're gonna lose. Uh, I don't know if you have this like sometimes uh, you, def you you get the feeling, right? Where you like Mm, things are going even, but you know, when you, whenever your Agro of Bulldoze misses, you kind of feel like mm, things are not looking great. Arlo, hello Tirachi. No, I don't. I don't have Narset. Should I have Narset? Maybe I should. But it's just that I don't want to put non uh, non distant or sorcery in my deck. All right, we play, pay six mana for an encounter spell. Hopefully, they don't have a second Nar Nar Narset reversal. If they do have a second Narset reversal, that'd be that'd be awkward. Will you ever play Nexus? Uh, no, I don't like Nexus. All right, will they crack the Memorial to Genius? Is a Narset just better than the Gate? They're totally different cards. One counters the Fairy. The other one is just a Planeswalker. One counters like Nexus of Fate or Abundance Reclamation, the other one, you know, stops something. It's like saying, do you prefer gelato or uh, pizza carbonara? No, pizza carbonara. Pizza o carbonara. 
you know, it's uh, two different things. Speaking of uh, great food, this lunch, I got invited from my aunt to a fish-based food where I'm gonna eat uh, spaghetti a frutti di mare into some other kind of fish that they have to decide still. So I'm actually super, super excited. Whenever I finish the stream, I just can't wait to just put on something and just run. I just want to see this game, guys. They have this, this, and I have just the most awful hand of the world. But I have more hope that we'll play against some other faster deck and, and win in the next games. So we're one and two on the day with the uh, with the blue black meter in check. Yeah, I'm super excited. No, no, no soup, not soup. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sick, so I don't have to eat soup. I can't eat the best Italian. My, my, my aunt is, is is great cooker. She doesn't leave uh, where I live, so she just came on town, and she said, "I'm gonna invite you over." And I said, "Yes," because because like basically now that I, now that I play a lot of Magic in the weekend, it's very rare to see me at home. It's very rare. I actually don't remember the last weekend that I'm home. It might just be like six months or something that I was never home. And uh, so she was like, I'm trying to, I'm going to attempt asking you if you're, if you're home, but I probably just fail. And when I said that I was home, she was like, wow, this can't be real. So she has to do something, something big. What if she cook a fish soup? No, no, no fish soup. All right. Hello opponent. Oh, wait, wait. is it the same Okami that was in the chat earlier? Hello, Kami. No, you're playing Asper Control? Oh, come on. Why is everyone playing Asper Control? Oh, I just want to play fast games of magic. And I'm just stick here forever. No, wait. This is not Asper Control. This is Asper Agro. It's a cool deck. All right, let's get the fairy. I don't care about Dovin's Veto. You get excited for food like I do. But I wait like two of you. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, destroy that thing. Probably shouldn't have done it. This, this was awful. Why did I do that? I don't care about the hero presenting one. I should have just... All right, I guess they don't have land, so my play was perfect. All right, and there it is. The best card in standard, Thief of Sanity. Will my opponent draw land to play their Thief of Sanity? All right, fish the untouchable. Touches my opponent. And kill them. And game over. Thief of Sanity, best card in standard confirmed. Yeah, yeah, uh, but you know what, Hunter? That's what that's what Esper Control players deserves. Esper Control players and Nexus of Fate players deserve their opponent to never concede to them, and they have to just to spend thirty minutes just winning once they've already locked. Okay, I I don't have the I don't have the courage to do that because I want to move on with my life. And do other stuff, so I always concede. But I have a lot of respect for whoever doesn't concede uh, when they're uh, when they're Teferi locked or, uh, or 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 Nexus of Fate lock. Unfortunately, I have you know some other things to do. But I really appreciate those people. They just uh, they just sacrifices for the greater good. For the greater good. In the meanwhile, check this out. I have a cast down in my hand. And they took it for free with my Augur of Bolas. And guess what? This Augur of Bolas is also stopping my opponent's board. So this Augur of Bolas was actually the strongest card in the world. You enjoy knowing that your opponent have less value than their time than I do. That's true. That's true. But they do, as I said, they do it for the greater good. Because... Oh, wait. I'm, why, why, why I'm not casting this? I'm actually casting this. This is much better. Because... Uh, so, I always wonder what should I mill, who should I mill. I'm just gonna mill myself. I, know, I just feel like the top of my deck is unlucky, so I'm gonna mill myself. Hey, it was. Three lands and an opt. It was. It was a good feeling. What do you think about red-green Stompy? I think that, uh, I think that uh, red-green uh, is good, but with Domri. Domri and, uh, and Sarkhan. Is it always correct to mill yourself? It isn't. If you play against uh, uh, Dark, no, what's called Darflick Daredevil, you should mill your opponent. No, no. Wait, well, old Omri? <laughs> Domri raid? That's not legal in standard. Wait, is there more Domri in the format? 
I like this value of time debate when everyone is just playing the game and wasting time. And no, it's not wasting. It's enjoying. It's like, I don't know. If I watch a football match, I feel like, like I'm wasting time. If I play Magic, I'll feel happy because I am actually playing a game. All right, so playing against an aggro deck. So I want hostage takers. Uh, Craft the Carnarium, I think it's whatever. I don't want any of these cards. I'm actually going to board out the Oresses because they have a lot of creatures in their deck. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna board up probably one commands the end game. Wait, is there a four mana Domri? Would you recommend playing this deck? Uh, it depends. If you wanna have fun, yes, because Augur of Bolas is probably like the, the card that I love the most. Basically, I got in love with, uh, I got in love with, uh, Popper only for the card named Augur of Bolas. And if it wasn't for Augur of Bolas, I wouldn't have played Never Popper probably. Or I like this configuration. <laughs> Football is not a waste of time. Soccer is. I wonder why Americans decided. All right, guys, we're Americans. We're gonna invite invent this new game, but we're gonna call it the same way of another game, so that we have to change the name of the other game in order to steal that name of the game. I I don't understand that part. I don't understand that part. Do you prefer Gelato or Augur of Bolas? Soccer is close. I, I don't know, is it? Because like people call it football, and then when you come to America, you have to call it soccer. No, put a mulligans to four. No. No. Okami. No, why well, you have three cards in your hand? This is not modern. We've done mulligan to three here. European baseball. <laughs> All right, our opponent money goes to three, and we just got our sweet value with Augur of Bolas taking the three for what? The value is just psh, all over the places. Are you still playing Is It in Popper? I am. I am. Honestly, I don't play that much Popper, so I just play the same deck. Is It is very fun, and uh, whenever I play, yeah, oh, I just I just play Fish the Untouchable, so I think my opponent is going to explode. Bye bye, Okami. Realize soccer has a British origins. Wait, do British call it soccer? I think they call him football. Because I was. I don't know if Matthew is here, but I think he said football when he talked about soccer. So when I was. Uh, when Every time I talked with Americans, I go like, you know, they, they don't anymore. They call it football or soccer? Well, what do you want to call a game where foot touches a ball? Exactly. What does soccer means? It, does it have any any mean? Like soccer, the word soccer. <laughs> yeah, you get stabbed in England if you say soccer. See? See? That's... I, I guess right. I guess right. It's the Americans just changing things to the name. Why? Why Americans? Why do you do that? Why do you feel that your game needs to take some other game's name and change name. It's like uh, it's like if uh, Riot comes up with this insane game, it calls over Mr. Richard Garfield saying, hey, we're gonna invent this game. It's gonna be the greatest game of all time. We're gonna steal all the Magic players. We're gonna put a million dollar tournament. We're gonna call it Magic. Okay? No, they don't do that. They call it Artifact. Basically taking the, the, the thing from the magic name, but still, artifact is a word, so it's okay. So yeah, that's what that's what I'm complaining today about. All right, Augur of Bolas. Uh, why this is the best card of uh, of uh, standard legacy, modern popper, and uh, um, yeah, I already said everything. I need land to get my th yeah. Actually, you know what? Ah, uh, I just I just want I just want Augur of Bolas so badly. I want to draw Augur of Bolas here. Oh, it was Valve, not right, sorry. Wait, did I draw another Agro of Balls? Oh no, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna hit three lands with this, for sure. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. I fucking knew, oh, I drew a land though, so that's good. All right, attack, one damage. Take that, Mr. Rick's control deck. And I think I'm gonna just go for Thief of Sanity, crossing my fingers that Fage the Untouchable touches them. 
So American football with the artifact of, of is, I think so. I think American football is basically like artifact. No, I don't know actually. All right, I missed the land drop, and I also do, but I have three, so I'm happier. Soccer is an invitation for. All right, no. What's this? Just removal spell of every color? Is there a blue removal spell? Okay, let's go aggro bullets. Uh, get me a whatever. A six drop, <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> Currently have five lands to the bottom of my deck and I need like three more to cast my spell. So I'll probably just never hit. Did you ever try Artifact? I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure there's plenty of fun games, but I decided to dedicate my whole life to magic. I've never played anything else. Literally haven't played anything else. I do play... Whoa, they took my Kefnet? Oh, that's mean. All right, let's hit Charter Course, please. Three lands? Oh, come on, Augur of Bolas. Why are you doing this to me? I'm just praising that you're the greatest card ever. And you just keep on missing. <sighs> Alright, Thought Erasure. Sure, I have three one threes in play. There's nothing you can do about it. Have you just not played other card game? Uh, so, Magic is just a game that's so different. Like, there's so much things that you can do. That that I just don't wanna don't wanna change. They don't wanna change. Also, like it made me so that I could specialize a lot. I just enjoy. I play literally every format. Every format. There's always a different format to be played. We've, we've been attacking for turn two and our opponent is on fourteen life. No, our bosses are gone. Oh no. All right. Yeah, I think it's, um... No, I'm actually not gonna cast this Eternal of the Eternal, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna hold it, because... I mean, losing this game is kind of a bummer. Our opponent did literally nothing. We just played two, two mana, two, one threes, and, uh... Yeah, and we just died. That's awful. Did he skip land drop on purpose? Me? Yeah, yeah, I did. Because that, that deck is the Grixis, so they play Nickel Bolas, uh, the bad one, the one that discard, and I just want discard land. Andra, do you have any plans to make an ice station Z? What? What's that? What are you? What are you talking about? Uh, okay, so things to do, things to do, things to do. I just go opt. I'm looking for like grass is gonna tempt here. I'll, I'll lose. I will lose. I'll, I'll play second game, guys. I have two plus walkers, and I have like bad cards. That's probably just the name of this deck, though. Planeswalker against bad cards, but we have Spyglass to name the Planeswalker at least. You wonder, yeah, we play black, we could play their, 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 their Planeswalkers as well. Nope, because we're playing Augur of Bolas. So we have to play a lot of spells, but we miss, so that, that's that's basically it. Alright, I want Alderus Reborn, even though Alderus Reborn kind of sucks against... No, it doesn't. Um, mm, this, all these cards are, are fine, right? Because they play Nicol Bolas. The five mana one. So I'm gonna cut cast down. I'll keep this because this deals with uh, both teeth and also does something else. So I need to board in two spells. They'll probably be like a mix of uh, not actually two Disney full stroke. I think is the best because this one can counter the 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 creature as well. The four four ball is the creature. Will you sideboard out your two mana one three? Never, never. Today, my two mana one threes will be close. Oh, Stage Taker? No, they don't have any creatures. No more Legacy Stream. Wait, there's so many videos on Channel Fireball. You know, so I don't want to spoil something, but last video was a milestone. Actually, it was my last video. Wait, didn't this week Channel Fireball didn't publish any of my videos? Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. All right, I guess next week they'll come three. Oh, check out this four of a kind. Four of a kind. Four of a kind. Mulligan. Not a single one now. This end is perfect. No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, an island. I'll leave it on top. And since I know the top card is good, I don't want to opt. 
Should have been a keep. No, no, no. No lose keep for Mangu. Uh, I'll pass the turn here. I don't want to play Chartacruz in this card. How to defeat Monorad with this deck? <laughs> oh, I mean, you have four God of Eternals. Come on. Just throw one of them and win. Oh, we did the classic. You see why I didn't want to opt in my turn? You see? You see, guys? You see? Because the rule of thoughts is, you know, in th thoughts is, if you thoughts is your opponent, they discard a card, you discard a card, and then you... And then they just... You thought it's your opponent, you discard a card, they just drew the same exact card. That's how it works. That That's the thoughts is rule. Ooh, Augur of Bolas. So powerful. So powerful. Such a powerful card. Such a powerful card. It is. Is it? Yeah, I, I, th I think it is. I think, I'm, I think I'm drawing it. I think I'm drawing it. I feel it. I feel it. Alright, a block. Sure. But check out, we pay two mana, we draw two cards. This is a thing that they can't even do in Legacy. They can't even do in Legacy. Pay two mana, draw two cards. It's forbidden. It's actually, yeah, is it forbidden or it just never existed? It probably never existed. All right, so now we have the, wow, did my opponent just played into Eldest Reborn? That's a pretty bad play. All right, I have the option between Eldest Reborn and Enter the God Eternals. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with Enter the God Eternals because because Eldest Reborn is stopping uh, Planeswalker to come. Because I'm also playing a four four, so I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to play Eldest Reborn. All right, my turn. And there it is, the best card of standard, Hogger of Bolas. Please hit, yes! <laughs> wow, this hit is perfect. I just dropped their, their six mana Planeswalker. And I basically draw a card. The Hogger of Bolas just gave us four cards here, guys. Four, because it's a 1-3, it discarded Liliana. And Liliana make a 2-2, two -two. no, it's <laughs> whatever, three cards. <laughs> and we draw an extra card by graveyarding this island. You see? This is just the best. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm playing the two best cards in standard together. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going for the... Do I want to go for the Eldest Reborn? I think I am. Whatever. They have a Lilian in the graveyard, I just want to steal it. And then I have, a, and then I have a Disney Stroke to counter the Vrasic Contempt, then just going to win with that. So we just play the classic Eldest Reborn naked. <laughs> Without any anything on the other side, but I think this is a bad play. This is a good play. Pretty funny how when you think something, you say it's a bad play, but instead you wanted to say it's a good play. All right, I play Nico Bolas just right after I play the the other Streetborn. And see, like if now they play Nico Bolas, they could have killed my Planeswalkers, but they had other Bolas to kill Nico Bolas. So that's just uh, such a good combination of cards, you know, just other Bolas plus spells. All right, uh, Spyglass. I'm gonna hold it in my hand. I really wish it was something good, but instead it's a uh, Spyglass. Hey, how's it going? I'm new to the stream, but I've watched you on the Pro Tours. Oh, that's a long time ago. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my friend. All right, uh, what are we gonna get? Liliana or Nicol Bolas? So we will get to play it. So is it better to draw a card or to make a 2-2? Two -two? I think it's better to make a 2-2. Two -two. Right? Or maybe Thief of Sanity. Hmm, I don't know. No, Thief of Sanity not, because they have Rusted Contempt in their hand. Hmm. I think I want to draw a card. And actually, Ooh. Thank you very much, Serious No. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are having a good time with this. Uh, Blue, black. Oh! Think, we could have added 2 2? Or we could have drawn an Augur of Bolas. When you put it this way, it's like. You know, it's like the strongest planeswalker of all time. It's plus one, and you draw an Augur of Bolas? How much card advantage is that? Alright, come on. I wanna draw. I want to draw a charter course so that I can again make it three for one with my Ogre of Bolas. I just did. Oh. 
The value! Just look at this value. I'm even going to Thought Erasure because it's too much value. I just want to play a Thought Erasure now. It's too much value, I can't hold it. You know it's so much value that I'm going to play another Thought Erasure. Another Thought Erasure. And the turn I got Kefnet on top. How can I lose now? I have two Togger of Boluses in play. It's basically impossible now. No, they drew a, uh, this card, but I don't care. Because my big brain over here made me sideboard a Spyglass. You see? You see? Oh, the Ravager. It's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, this is. I can actually just die through that. All right. So Nicol Boss Dragon God. Uh, yeah, that's the name. Then I'll play God Eternal Kefnet, and then I'm attacking them. Sure, they can have Bedevil to kill my Spyglass, but I just want to pressure them. If only we had thought Erasure in end. Yeah, but if, we, if I had thought Erasure in end, we wouldn't have drawn this God Eternal Kefnet because... Oh, wow, we can copy the Disdainful Stroke? <laughs> that's that's such a good card. That's such a good building over here. We can copy this Disdainful Stroke. And then just return to our end. All right, I play the seventh land. Very jealous. They got our Planeswalker. But what is, what is our Planeswalker doing here? Hmm. I have two other of boluses that prevent me from uh, the flashback from Liliana. Isn't it like the best building of all time? Because they want to go, oh, I want to reanimate the planeswalker and make you sacrifice two creatures. The other of bolas say, no, 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 we're here as a shield. Also, great shield because it can also attack. You know, guys, I just want to, I just want to, all right, they reanimate something. They did reanimate Liliana. Wow. Okay. Duress. Uh, reveal, reveal, take that, uh, take that opponent. Ooh, Thief of Sanity. That is not a spell and not a, a format I grow more, so that's bad. Can you please analyze Enter the God Eternal when it's strong, when it's weak? I mean, it would be, I mean, it's so, uh, against aggro decks. Too bad that on Arena no one plays aggro. Alright, so opponent has a lot of uh, Planeswalker right here. One is countered, but the other one aren't. Alright, so this one uh, kills the bolus. And this two uh, attempt to, to deal one damage to Lily. Uh, I mean, it's not always strong. It's actually very bad most of the lot of times. But, you know, whenever you just kill a creature, make a 4 4 and gain 4 life against an aggro deck, it's like the best cutting standard. What do you think of Vivian's Arcbow? I hate it. I hate it. I really dislike it. It's. It's so much mana, so much effort. Just play a Planeswalker instead. Just play Vivian, if you really want to play a Vivian. Oh, the mana is four. <sighs> look at this value, guys. Just just look at Just look at the value. Just look at our Augur of Boluses. They picked up two spells. And... Alright. That's a Thief of Sanity. And I draw a land. Oh no, deck. You were supposed to give me a spell this turn. It was trivial. Yeah, I, I need to think I need to... I think I, I, think I let them hit me. I think I let them hit me with a thief. I kind of feel like there's three lands on top of my deck, so I think it's fine. <laughs> they could champ block and draw a card, but then I have the rest. All right, I'll uh, pass the turn. Yeah, sometimes it's not phage. Prediction of Modern Horizon. I'm thinking natural order. Do you think so? No, why? Natural order is, 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 is not good for the game. You passed a turn. What what does that mean? Is that a joke? All right, my opponent used to, uh, duress. My duress. I don't care. Ooh! Finally, we get the value. Check out this one. The four mana four five flyer that just gives value. <gasps> second one? Hmm. No, I don't. I don't want the second one. Ooh! Is this the? Is this the 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 opt the opt turn? Is it how many opt can you can can one person cast in one turn? What's the what's the what's the mount? Is it seven? Eight? Have you always been so energetic? Yeah, I, I did. I was. It just was It just was make keeps make me going, I guess. Alright, so we do rest them. Show me what you got. Do you got that? Too bad it does, does literally nothing. All right, let's exile that. And now we're in the commanding position. I'm gonna attack them, hoping they don't hit on... Uh, maybe I'm attacking... 
So the thing is that if they draw a Bedevil, they kill this. I don't even know if they play Bedevil, but they should, right? So I think I want to play around Bedevil here. Yeah, and once... Uh, actually, no, whatever. This is a three-turn clock. Let's attack them. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's a good point, uh, Enigma. I didn't think about it. Basically, what Enigma said, it's... Uh, I should have hold... Uh, no Is this the famous infinite value? <sighs> you know, you know, you feel just the energy, just, just, just flowing when you play God Eternal Kefnet and the reveal commence the end game or turn on the enter the God Eternals. You feel like ah, I've really did it. I, I've really. Well, how do you say that? I've, you know, then you say like, I've done it. I've done it. I've accomplished what every magic player in the world wants to accomplish. Ah. All right. Now, stop. Game three to be played. You can't get driven by emotions in the game of magic. Never. All right. So now that I'm not driven by emotion anymore, I'm thinking about the sideboard. Uh, they have planeswalkers, a lot of them. But they also have creatures. A little bit of them. So, they want the gates. Mm. I think I don't want. I think this deck is perfectly built. Like, the most perfect dev big, The most perfect deck I've ever built in my career of magic play. As a magic player. Negate is better than stroke. No, stroke counters uh, uh, the Ravager. Nicol Bolas the Ravager. Or God Eternal Kefnet. You say you can't be driven by emotion, but I've seen you, you'll, I've seen you wheel the top of your deck into the existence. Sorry, what happened? Oh yeah, yeah. Why not one Liliana? Because it's not a, a spell or a creature, and a, oh, sorry, spell or uh, the other thing, a sorcery, instead of sorcery, and I want to just have all my Augur of Bulls to never miss. Why did you, why didn't you keep an opt to earn value in your opponent's turn? Oh yeah, I, I didn't because I, I actually forgot, but also because I wanted to eat a good spell that turn, so I just wanted to play opt in that turn. Also, I knew that the top of my deck was a commence the end game, so I just wanted to do the value next... No, I'm joking, I don't know. Are you playing Mythic Qualifier Weekend? Uh, what's that? Probably not, because I'm qualified to literally everything that a person can be qualified, because I'm in the Magic Pro League. And that's a keep. And that's a block rip untapped. Hmm, this is the worst art of of duress you could ever possibly see in the history of the game. So if you got to play duress in your deck, don't play this art, please. But I got another boss right here. All right, top land. Do you have another, another duress? That's fine with me. Sure, same bad art though. They discard my discard spells, but it doesn't matter, because we're gonna get the value back. Thanks to a 1 3 for 2. Ooh. Ooh. So much value. So much value. We get a 1 3. We discard a card. We surveil. We surveil, guys. We surveil. I will surveil. Okay. I'll play land first, because they could play syncopate, so might as well do it. And show me what you got. Hmm. You can keep your moment of craving. You can draw 75 of these. You can draw all of them. I wish you the best with your moment of cravings, opponent. All right. Go ahead, throw a Kefnet is a good draw. And by good draw, I mean the Stone Nuts. There was not a single better draw. Are you going to Magic Fest in Birmingham? I believe it clashes with some major event that I don't think I'm allowed to say yet. So I don't think so. I do my best to play every single Magic Fest ever in Europe because I love to play Magic in real life. But I don't think I can I can come to Magic Fest uh, in Birmingham. All right, we miss and we attack. 
Are you going to Krakow? Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Alright, so attack with Nicol Bolas. 16. Draw, opt. Ooh. I think, I think I'm still going to... Ah, uh, because I've commenced the endgame this turn, right? No, I think I'm revealing it. I think I'm revealing it. I, th I think I just can't pass up on this free value. Thoughts on my MPL group versus the others? No, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's it's MPL. Can't be, can't be bad players. They're all good. We're... Alright, so we attack. I'll play my Theo Sanity and pass the turn, and then I'll do the very big big brain play of opting my opponent's turn. So that I can get the value from the Kefnet if I reveal a spell like an opt. Or... Okay, so they go Chemistry's Insight. I really hate Nicol Boss Ravager, guys. I actually wrote an article about how like Grixis is cool, but this card is just not good. <laughs> What is this, say J Champ? This is a, a deck that exploit the two strongest cards of, of standard right now, Augur of Bolas and Thief of Sanity. And Kefnet got a turn of when he hits, which is like basically 1 out of 25. Because apparently, whenever you have a Kef Kefnet got eternal, I mean actually we just hit the opt, so I can't complain. Hello Mythic Antonio. Crazy Sunday Saturday stream. Wait, why is it crazy? Is it crazy? All right, so uh, they thought erasure me, and I think I'm gonna opt here because if they don't have a spell, they take up now and then they take commence the end game. So I know that commence the end game is a better card, uh, but I'm just gonna opt now so that first thing first I can I can just use the value. Pfft. Yeah, unfortunately I don't think I can cast this right. I need to pay two cardless less. Yeah, this is actually not that bad. The bad thing I'm gonna bottom it. I I just wanna draw. I don't know, just just good cards. All right, decline. I just wanted to draw another opt honestly. For the, all those people that are asking me and other people thoughts on what Anabed thoughts on Owen, what do you exactly expect us to say? No, I mean I'm I'm genuinely curious. I'm genuinely curious. Who chose the MPL players? Oh, I'll answer that later. But check out what just happened. And these things just happened to me in limited. I just want to say, but it's finally happened after one hour forty three minutes. We did all. The value in the world. We win. Game over, Grixis control opponent. Oh, you negate me? It's not game over anymore then, because I thought you were tapped out for some reasons. Alright, I guess I'll keep this in line in my hand just in case I go for another Ravager. Yeah, that's fine. Attack it for four. So who choose the MPL players? Basically, they throw away they they they, they throw in a hundred names uh, and they took thirty two at randoms and that was the lucky, lucky one to got drawn. No, that's not true. It was the top thirty two players from Pro Points in the year of twenty seventeen. <laughs> and I finished. I have no clue how it finished, but very high, very high, like top ten probably. That's actually how they chose the MPL players by like the settings. Ooh, wait, did I just lose this game after just saying that how great I was? All right, so I'll play Enter the God Eternals. I'll probably just have to kill this. Yeah. Wow, I'm just losing this game. I'm just losing this game now. I am losing this game. Did I mill four lands? No, rest of contempt? Ugh. All right, uh, yeah, I can't attack, so I'll pass. Okay. Land. Ascantov, I, I'm very jealous of the old Lisa Ascantov the Sunken Ruin. I wonder why I'm not playing in my deck. Should I put some Ascantov the Sunken Ruin in my deck? The Devil? It's not, that's not nice. It's not nice. Oh my god, Eternal? Alright, come on, deck. Yeah, 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 of course. Come on, deck, just give me a good card. You know what I want to get? I want to get a Charter Course here. I want to get a Charter Course. Or a Swamp. No, I didn't want to get a Swamp. Oh, I'm losing this game. Oh, no! 
Oh no, I was just bragging about how great my deck building was and how great my deck was. And then it just, no, no, they got double lava coil now. Oh, I lose. <laughs> no, I lose this game. I thought it was impossible to lose this game. We were so much ahead. Yeah, no, they're gonna steal my, my God Eternal Kefnet now. Oh no, 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 I can't let you, I can't let you take my cards. I can't let you take my God. My God needs to stay in my deck. No, the two? We were still in one. 